The resistance of glass to mechanical impacts and sudden temperature variations can considerably be increased through a heat treatment called tempering. This process has been used within ARC since 1958. For more than 40 years, ARC International has produced more than 2 billion toughened glasses at a rate of 60 million pieces per year. This process has been developed especially for the food and drinks markets for which toughened glass is recommended. This operation consists in heating the item uniformly and gradually up to about 600 degrees close to the glass softening point. Under this level of heat, glass will expand. The second step is to suddenly cool the item by blowing blasted air on the walls and the bottom of the glass. The surface of the glass will then contract and harden while the core of the item, still hot, will try to expand. This process will create controlled and permanent pressures or constraints in the glass wall thickness. These constraints are responsible for the resistance of the item as they act as a shield against external attacks. In contrast to the toughening process, the annealing treatment consists of first heating the item up to around 600 degrees centigrade so as to obtain the most even temperature possible between the surface and the core of the wall. Then it is cooled down slowly so that its temperature remains uniform over all of its thickness. This stage of the process is intended to remove all internal stresses induced during production. The absence of constraints makes the glass less resistant with no fragmentation at all. The following scene will clearly explain to you the reasons why the glass is more resistant. You can clearly see on this movie the various levels of pressures. On this graph you can see a well-balanced state between depression and compression. This results in the expected resistance of the glass against shocks. Now, when the glass breaks, all the constraints are released and the more constraints you have, the more fragmentation you get. In contrast, the annealed glass has no pressures. You won't get the expected resistance against shocks and when the glass breaks, it will break into sharp, jagged pieces. So what are the benefits of toughened glasses? Toughening is a very complex process. When we toughen a glass, we operate on three parameters and play with two key factors. The three parameters are in the following order by degree of importance. Firstly, mechanical resistance. We make sure that the glass will not break due to regular mechanical shocks and as such will be more resistant than any standard glassware. For every labour shift, 10 items are taken and a mass of 400 gram hits the rim of each item until the glass breaks. First, this test will tell us about the possible weakness of the glass at the rim level. In this case, the tulip has a glass thickness of two millimeters under the rim. An energy of 2.2 kilojoules is necessary to break the toughened glass and it breaks into very small pieces. When the tulip is annealed, it breaks into sharp jagged pieces with an energy of 1.45 kilojoules. On a test on 10 glasses, when the glass is dropped bottom first from a height of 1.4 meters, there is no breakage. When the glass is dropped top first from a height of 1.4 meters, five glasses do not break, but the other five are completely broken and fragmented. Statistics show a mechanical resistance two to three times stronger for toughened glass. The next benefit is fragmentation. Fragmentation makes sure that the glass breaks into small blunt pieces. If we bang the glass strongly on its side, it will release a specific energy to break the glass and that in turn creates a standard fragmentation. This glass is toughened, this one is annealed and sharp, jagged pieces remain on the glass. The third benefit is thermal shock resistance. Tempered glasses are left in the oven for 30 minutes at a temperature of 150 degrees. Then they are immediately dropped into cold water of 15 to 20 degrees Celsius. This produces an immediate retraction of the entire skin whereas the heart of the glass still expands. If no glass breaks, 
the test confirms that our toughening process is effective. This is less important for pub activities, but still remains a key result of the toughening process. Glass often breaks in dishwashers. Toughened glassware will guarantee you a permanent resistance to thermal shock. The annealed glass breaks because it does not resist temperatures of up to 130 degrees. This feature is still relevant as glasses are usually put into dishwashers, although at a much lower temperature. The use and care of toughened glassware. When glasses are not properly stacked, it is recommended not to stack them more than three high. Placing two glasses together may indeed deteriorate slightly the toughened skin. The same deterioration effect can happen by scratching the glass with a knife blade. Once the toughening skin is slightly deteriorated, the toughening process is likely to be less effective. Strong mechanical shocks or sudden thermal shocks may then cause breakage and a sudden shattering into small blunt pieces. Because extremely durable, sometimes unbreakable, it is recommended to replace worn and stained toughened glass after 12 months of usage. So here are some of the key factors of toughened glass. Toughened glasses last longer. They are two to three times stronger than standard glasses. Technically, the two key factors to take into consideration to make toughening possible are the following. Firstly, the thickness distribution of the glass. A perfectly even glass distribution is the best scenario to obtain the best toughening. Secondly, decoration. To reach the right colours during toughening means you have to adapt the temperature to set limits. Technically making a finished toughened pint, whether decorated or undecorated, is a balancing exercise between mechanical resistance, fragmentation, thermal shock resistance, and the thickness distribution of the glass wall and the decoration. This drawing shows even glass distribution on the wall of the glass. In this case, toughening will be effective. This drawing, the bottom left side of the glass is too thick and the right side at the bottom is too thin. In this case, toughening will not be effective. Today's marketing development has brought to the market more sophisticated glasses, such as bespoke embossed glasses and printed decorated glasses. This has led us to adapt the toughening process depending on the wall thickness. Quality controls are exercised and carried out during manufacturing as follows. Every batch of production, approximately 150,000 items, is divided up into smaller controlled units representing four hours of production each. The laboratory assistants also use polariscopes to check the strains and constraints pattern within the glass. Should there be any detected defaults during those inspections, the whole batch is rejected and put to one side for thorough analysis. So to conclude, the toughening process makes glassware at least two to three times stronger than annealed glass. The safety aspect is the main aspect, that's the main reason why I use toughened glasses. And uh, the other reason of course as well is it's, it's more economical. They don't break so often, we don't lose so many. So they last longer. Unlike other glass manufacturers, Arc International toughens every part of the glass. This guarantees consistency of toughening throughout each part of the glass. It is resistant to mechanical shocks all over the surface of the glass. It fragments into blunt edges. This process requires a high level of expertise that has allowed Arc International to expand to more sophisticated and elaborate bespoke designs. Today, thanks to the 30 years experience of producing over two billion toughened glasses, Arc International is proud to be the prime manufacturer of high quality toughened glassware used in thousands of pubs across the United Kingdom.